I'm the feature twirler, so I twirl during the halftime show and at competitions, and I'm also the section leader of the twirling line. I've been competing as a twirler since I was in the fourth grade. Since then, I've twirled on a twirling line at Friendship uh, since seventh grade. Uh, I have a private lesson coach that I take from, and I just make sure I practice. Uh, I twirled independently for a while before I started twirling with a team. Uh, I learned a lot about working with other people and uh, a lot about patience when working on tricks to get better as you continue to grow and to learn that not everything happens overnight, so you really need to work for it. Friendship has a long history of fantastic twirlers. Uh, from middle schools all the way up to high school, we've had a, a, a long tradition of having really great twirling lines, um, not just the lines but individuals as well. And about uh, eight to ten years ago we began having feature twirlers uh, to be showcased during our marching shows. And the expectations for feature twirlers is way above that of being on the line. So. Students who audition for the twirling line have to perform and meet some prerequisite skills um, that they have to exhibit to the judges. My daughter, in fact, was a feature twirler for uh, Friendship High School, uh, her sophomore year in high school, when she was here uh, in the band program. And she had been working as part of the National Baton Twirling Association uh, since she was five years old. Uh, so it was really fun to be able to see her grow as a twirler uh, and advance in her skills all the way up to being able to be the feature twirler uh, for Friendship High School. That was a lot of fun.